Hi everybody, welcome to my third tutorial on JMeter. In my last tutorial, we saw uh, how we wrote our first test. We uh, created a user group called Users. Then we added a HTTP request sampler called Homepage. We added two listeners, view result in table, view result in tree. And uh, we further saw what uh, purpose is a workbench for. So in today's session, we will we will dig deeper into uh, what listeners are. So let's see. This is our agenda for today. So listeners uh, gather information about the test and are used to view results matrix of the test. So once you run a test, how will you ensure that the test ran successfully? You have no ways to make sure that all you needed in the performance test has actually been achieved. So we that's the reason we add listeners for it gathers information about the test. And these uh, results matrix of the test can later be analyzed and a proper decision can be made. Uh, certain fine tuning aspects can also be incorporated based on the results of the test. A few uh, terms related to analysis are sample time uh, which we will see later which is nothing but the response time. This time is the time needed for the entire response to be got back from the server. Latency time is the time when the first byte is received back from the server. Connect time is uh, mainly involved with connecting to a server, any server that needs authentication or uh, it needs some time to connect to the server that is uh, called connect time. And uh, we already saw what is view results in table and view results in tree in our uh, first JMeter test. So in this one we are going to see what is aggregate report, what are graph results and summary report and simple data writer. So aggregate report is a single consolidated line of report. Uh, it will give all the data in one single line. It will do a accumulation of all the data. Graph results is useful when we have plenty of users and uh, we need to make, uh, we need to analyze the system as how it behaves over a period of time. So what we will do is instead of looping it for a certain amount of time we will make the iteration forever and then we will visualize how the things take place this is uh, this graph results is uh, important to know another concept of development which is cache development we will see how that works out then comes the summary report this is nothing this is similar to the aggregate report but it has a uh, few lesser fields than uh, the aggregate report and simple data writer is a textual format that is presented to the user. So let's uh, dig into our listeners and how we can incorporate these listeners in our test. Let's start adding the listeners one by one so that you can get a feel of how simple it is. So click on our user group, add and then go to listeners. Here we will first add the aggregate report. So aggregate report gets added. So instead of adding it to our thread group, what we can do is add it to our test plan itself so that we can get a more uh, clear picture about what is happening. So uh, what I will do is I will remove it from here and then I will add it to our test plan. Aggregate report is added. Then we need to add another listener that is the graph results listener Here we go, graph results listener. What we will do is we accidentally added it inside the user, so we will add it here. So we are all set with graph results listener. 
now uh, we need to add another listener which is summary report so adding a summary report now so that's all uh, we will see just these listeners for now oh yeah and we have one more listener simple data writer so that's all we are done so now what we need to do is in order to see these listeners in action we need to increase our users increase our thread groups so we will put as 10 so that the system does not crash and we make it forever so we are all set now we can save and run it so i put my cursor here and see how it goes so i have started my test all the 10 users are online now they are doing interactions with the system uh, notice that spots are appearing here these are nothing but a graph results uh, lines that will stabilize after a certain period of time uh, if you notice the uh, data over here the blue ones is the average time the second one is the median time the third one is the deviation and the fourth one is the throughput so notice how uh, the lines are stabilizing slowly the average uh, line is getting almost horizontal now and uh, so is the throughput line initially the throughput line uh, was at a higher level now it is becoming horizontal see that's the reason we put it as forever so that we can uh, look into its behavior as time progresses so the systems are behaving fine uh, what we have done here is nothing but just uh, we are uh, increasing the load on the only one page and that's the reason it is not taking that much of memory so we see uh, reports in listener here report reports in table one of them has failed and the rest of them have passed view results in tree see all have passed here except a few so we will see what what is the problem with that here this one okay so we have the reason, reason here the target server failed to respond so that's the reason this has failed so there might be a temporary glitch of some sort and because of that this test has failed so looking into the aggregate report we see that there is only one line for our home page so this is our scenario in short and this gives the total number of samples run the average time the median time the 90% time that is how much um, time uh, it takes for 90% uh, how much uh, is the time for uh, when the load is 90% and similarly is the throughput here as you can see the summary report gives the same amount of data but just uh, there are few things uh, in aggregate report which are not there in summary report the for example the 90% line is not there in the summary report uh, and instead of that we have the min max the standard deviation here if we look into the simple data writer uh, yeah now let's stop our test see uh, this time i have used the stopping test so this will stop all the test uh, 
uh, gracefully that means all the it will wait for all the users to complete their transactions and then only it will exit if i use this big stop button then what it will do is it will stop abruptly it will stop every user from doing their activity and it will shut down the entire process so we will see how the simple data writer works so in order for uh, the simple data writer to work uh, we need to provide a file name over here okay so we are ready to see what is simple data writer just go to simple data writer and here i have selected one uh, csv sheet that is currently empty if you look into this sheet the csv data dot csv i will show you that one uh, here so it is currently empty nothing is there so now we will run our test and we will see what happens that's it we have triggered our test all 10 users are online and we are we have started getting the data throughput average median and also we have started getting the graphs so after some time we will just stop it uh, gracefully and look into what our results are in the simple data writer So I have clicked the stop gracefully button and it's stopping the test now. There. And the test have been stopped. Now we go to the simple data writer output. We will check what the output is over here. So we get the data in a tabular form. So see here all the response codes we are getting 200 that is okay and then we are getting all the users over here uh, we are getting a, resp a response code as true uh, we are getting all the times over here and everything looks good there are a few glitches over here uh, this i have got as false because what error message it shows is non http response message the target server failed to respond and we are getting a, a non http response code otherwise we are getting 200 as a response code in in very few instances we will get a non http response code where we get a response exception so in this way we can see what data is coming in what uh, things are getting done and here uh, we see all the other details like the response time the users that are getting logged in so 1 1 1 2 1 3 9 10 the last digit indicates the number of user the number of the user that has logged in so that's about it for the simple data writer let's see what else we have In aggregate report we will try to see what the 90% line exactly is yeah so what does average mean is this is the average time our request took to uh, execute so 1507 is the time taken then we come to the median this number indicates that half of the request took more time than this and half of the request took less time than this so this is the middle figure in short 90 percent of the request means 90 percent line means 90 percent of the request took this much amount of time so 2604 is that value uh, we will see uh, the minimum uh, and the maximum is pretty self-explanatory and the throughput is nothing but what we get back from the server uh, per second how many uh, requests we get back from the server per second 
so that's all for the aggregate report then we look into the summary report the summary report has uh, less data than the aggregate report as mentioned earlier and it has uh, additional uh, additional columns like standard deviation uh, for example so that's about it rest of the listeners we have already seen we saw simple data writer we saw view results in tree view results in table graph results aggregate report so we are all done thanks uh, very much for watching my video and do subscribe to my channel thank you